Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. But I don't know what's going on with my phone. It keeps cutting off. Um, my husband already tried to transfer all of the stuff out the memory card. Oh, I forgot to let y'all say hi to Teddy. Teddy is going to be my special guest um, from now on. Now, the second part of this video, I'm going to tell you guys about um, being full of poop. Now, if you're not, if you're eating what is considered the standard American diet, which is a lot of carbs, a lot of fat, a lot of processed foods, a lot of meat, a lot of dairy, um, you're probably full of poop. And when I mean full of poop, I mean your body is not, your digestive system is just not working the way it's designed to work because our bodies are really not designed to take in all of the food that they are processing now. The way the meat is being processed is a lot different from the way it was processed when you know our great grandparents and our grandparents were in the country because a lot of people say oh well my great grandmother she ate meat and she lived to be 90 years old yeah but you have to think that a lot of those people ate meat that they went in a backyard and killed the chicken and put him right on the table or fried him up that same day he wasn't killed one day and then you ate him maybe a month later. There is a huge difference in fresh meat and meat that has been slaughtered, shot up with God knows what preservative to keep it because it has to be slaughtered, it has to be cleaned, it has to be packaged, then it has to be shipped off to wherever it's going. So the meat that we're eating now has been dead for God knows how long. And when you're eating all of this dead food, your your body just has a hard time processing it. Like it takes days for meat to be broken down in our system. And the majority of it does not come through. Like we are not pooping enough to poop out all of that contaminated food that we eat myself included i mean i probably got goo gobs of stuff in my intestines because i only been vegan for like almost three months so it ain't no telling what's still in there trying to come out but i will tell you this when you become vegan and you eat plant-based you will poop like you have never pooped before. Your entire system works differently when you're on a plant-based diet. So I was looking at this website and it says, your body has between 5 and 25 pounds of waste in there, in your colon area, depending on your diet. So it depends on what you're eating, how much unprocessed poop you have still left in you. Because our colons are as long as we are tall. They just all bunched up in there and all that waste just having a hard time coming out. Because the majority of y'all ain't drinking enough water. You're drinking all these sodas and all these fruit juices that have no nutritional value. They're not helping to push anything through because the body is just absorbing that sugar and turning it into fat. It is you think because is the soda is liquid or the juice is liquid it's helping you, but it's not. If you're not drinking enough water, you're not helping your body. If you're not drinking the right foods, you're not helping your body. Your body needs fiber for one thing. Fruits and vegetables contain fiber. 
the fiber goes in and helps scrape the lining of the intestines and the colon and pushes, you know, that poop and stuff out. So you got to have the water in. You have to be eating a certain amount of fruits and vegetables to help your digestive system. I hear a lot of people complaining about they're not sleeping well. They wake up tired. You're not sleeping because your stomach and your digestive system is woke all night trying to process that hamburger that you ate. Your stomach is up all night. See, I don't eat meat. So my when I go to sleep, my stomach go to sleep. Because it don't have no work to do. I try my best to, my last meal of the day is normally a raw meal. Big thing of vegetables or fruit or whatever. So my body is not fighting to process a whole lot of food at night. It don't take a whole lot to process uh, spinach and, and kale and peppers and vegetables and stuff because me and my husband we do not eat any of the packaged vegan foods we are plant-based vegans the only thing we eat is fruits vegetables rice beans nuts we keep it as simple as possible the only thing packaged that I eat is I I'm addicted to flour tortillas and I'm about to cut that out too because I know that the flour tortillas are not um, not good for you but I like those I don't eat any bread whatsoever I do like corn tortillas the tortilla chips I like those in um, salsa those are the only two things that I eat that are packaged. Unless I get some almond butter or whatever. And eventually, I'm going to start making my own almond butter. I mean, I why buy it from the store when you can make it? Oh, and almond milk. So there are a few things. But I'm talking about food items. Like, we don't buy veggie burgers or tofurkey or, you know, tofu sausages. I don't eat tofu that often. Because it's a soy based um, product and I have issues with my thyroid so I really try to stay away from things that have a lot of soy. And I noticed that a lot of the patties, the vegan burgers, have soy in them. So, you know, I just leave all that stuff alone because it's not good for me. So, a healthy person has between two and three bowel movements a day. If you're eating right and drinking enough water, the food will come through you. That's how you know you're eating right and drinking enough water, when you are having an adequate amount of bowel movements a day. If you're not having bowel movements, you're full of poop. And you're going to be angry, you're going to be frustrated, you're not going to get enough sleep, it can cause depression, all type of things just because you full of poop. So eat right so you can poop like me. I don't have a problem pooping. Did I have a problem pooping before? Yes. I'd be in the bathroom just in there reading and listening to music and everything, sitting there trying to poop. I don't have that problem now. I go in the bathroom, poop, get up, and get on up out of there because it don't take me that long because I drink at least... This is the least amount of water I drink is three liters. Three of these is the least amount I will drink. Plus, I eat probably half a watermelon a day. If it ain't half a watermelon, it's half cantaloupe. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables every day. Kale, spinach, uh, spring mix, every single solitary day. I do not eat rice every day. I don't eat potatoes every day. I try to eat as least amount of cooked food as possible. I want my food to be live. Live foods go in your body and do what they supposed to do. Greens get in your body and show out. They just be like, hey, what you doing? 
Get over there. Oh, no, we got to kill you. All them bad cells, the greens just coming in, attacking that stuff. You have to look at your food and say, you know what? I know that you about to get in there and do a marvelous work in my body. You can't look at McDonald's and say that. You look at McDonald's and be like, you know what? You're going to make me fat. And it's going to take days for that Big Mac to come out. I don't want food that's going to get in my body and just stay in there for days. No. That's why I eat vegetables. Oh, and uh, me and my husband, we're thinking about getting a colonic. Because that at least cleans out your colon. Like, of course, one colonic ain't going to get rid of everything. But it's going to get rid of a lot of the stuff that's backed up um, in your colon. You know, and help jumpstart your immune system and get everything regulated again. Even though we eat good, we only been vegan for a little bit of time. So, you know, we want to go in and get some of that gunk out because we know everything else we put in is going to be good. So, I've been talking for 11 minutes. I'm going to go... Uh, watch the first part of this video and then watch this. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Hey, and don't be full of poop. Okay. Drink your water so you won't be full of poop. Say bye, Teddy. All right, y'all.